your lucky day. You get two ticked off Tuesdays in one week. Okay. Organize your religion. What the fuck is this shit? It's crazy. All the time, like, you know, my mother would always drag me to church, and I'm like, what for? You know, it's, it's Sunday. I could be watching the Jets. And she'd be like, you know, nothing bad can happen to you going to church. I'm like, nothing bad could happen to me sitting home watching the Jets either. I don't even want to talk about bad stuff that could happen to you going to church. That's sad stuff, and I don't want to get into that. But I can tell you that if I'm sitting at home watching the Jets, I'm not likely to get into a car accident on the way to church because I'm not on the way to church. But anyway, all the time over the years, oh, we don't like the way you're dressed. You shouldn't wear this shirt in church. Why do you have a mustache now? Why are you growing your hair long? And I'm like, wait a minute here. You don't like my hair long? Yet every time I see a depiction of Jesus, except on Good Times, which is the best painting of Jesus I've ever seen, by the way, he's got long hair and a beard. So if I have a mustache, a goatee, and long hair, which at the time I did on occasion, but now I got no hair, what's the problem? So it's not good for me to have long hair, but the guy up in the cross up there can have long hair and a beard? Well, why can he do it and I can't? And you should be nicer to me than the guy up on the cross because that's a statue. He's not going to do anything. Me, conceivably, I could reach into my pocket and put money in your collection plate, which you'll pay no taxes on. So... You know, I don't like your shirt, I don't like your hat, I don't like your facial hair, I don't like what you have on your wallet. But then suddenly I reach into the wallet and I start pulling out money. Hey, how you doing? We love you. Come on in. Hey, all right, you're a good man. So yeah, you love me if I put money in your collection plate. Or if I wear a suit like you want me to wear. Or if I think like you. But you don't, you're not going to like me. Because he, she, it, or what that controls the universe... I don't know his, her, or its name. I call him, her, her or it, Ziphatha. Why? I don't know. Why not? But, oh, you can't do that. Thou shall not have no gods before me. But wait a minute. If I can't have a god before you, but I got Ziphatha. What if another guy has a, a, a god named Bert, and another woman has a guy named, uh, I don't know, Matilda, and then another lady's got a god named, I don't know, Jack? Uh, you know, and then someone else has got a god named Mihoff. <laughs> you know, well, wait a minute. How can you be putting this god before me and all these gods are false? Well, how can they all be false? It's just everyone's god or he, she, it, them, this, that, and the other thing. But no, this is false. Your god is false. Your god is false. And there's always people arguing over fucking religion and wars and all this bullshit killing and all that crap. You know what? The worst thing that happens when I stay home and watch the Jets, I'm swearing at the fucking television. Cocksucker, how can you throw the pass to the wrong fucking team? And there's no collection plate. Now some money is spent. Chips, you know, chips, beer, lunch, meat, dip, whatever. I don't have any dip. Why would I want to ruin the chip by putting it in the dip? And I don't want to have dip because if someone eats a chip, just like on Seinfeld, they might put the chip in there and then put it in and get a double dip. And then next thing you know, we're going to have all that fucking saliva in the goddamn dip. I don't think so. No, sir. I don't even let anybody reach into my bag of chips. If I have a bag of chips, there's one person that puts her hand inside my bag of chips. And she's right over there. That's my wife. No one else. Sorry. One time I had a bag of chips... Uh, and I was at my dad's house, and I brought a bag of chips with me. I'm visiting. He picks his nose, and it reaches into my bag of chips. I'm like, well, you can have the rest of that. So why would I want to let anyone else put their hand inside my bag of chips? And you got to figure it like this. You're putting your hand in that collection plate. You don't know where all those hands before you have been touching all that money. And then you're putting your hand in that. So a church could conceivably be like spreading disease and filth. Because you don't know where everybody's been to put their hands in that collection plate. When I eat my chips, I know where my hands have been, and I wash them frequently. Therefore, I'm not worried. Unless some psycho fucking did something to the chips in the factory before they got shipped out to the store. So I have no control over that. And I hope that doesn't happen to anybody. But I know where my hands have been, and I'm comfortable putting them in a bag of chips. There's two reasons I wouldn't want to put my hand in the collection plate. One, money is leaving my hand, and I will get nothing in return for it. If I buy a bag of chips, I get a good snack. If I go to the music store, I buy a CD, I get good entertaining music. Or if I buy a movie or whatever. You put your money in the collection plate, 
Someone else is benefiting from that, and you're getting nothing other than someone up there telling you how they think you should live your life. So you want me to go there and pay you to tell you, tell me how you think I should live my life. Now I'll give you guys credit, that's a smart fucking racket. And you got a lot of people that are willing to pay. Me? Forget about it. I go to Jack in the Box, I get a good meal. You know, my wife's birthday's coming up. I buy her something for her birthday. She's excited to get it. There's something in return. My wife's joy at her present from me. These are good investments. Putting your money in a collection plate. And if you want to do that, go ahead. Because a fool and his money soon go their separate ways. And there goes your money. You get nothing back. Now, to some of you, you might be getting something spiritual back. Which is all well and good. But can you eat that? And if you do give them money in the collection plate. Now they give you that wafer. Well, what's that wafer cost? Two cents? Yeah, they're, they're buying them in bulk probably. So you figure you're giving them money in the collection plate and they're going down to Sam's Club and buying wafers in bulk. And then they're sitting there giving them back. You get back and you're like, well, I got a wafer. I'm like, you put five hours in the collection plate and you got a two cent wafer. It's ridiculous. I can go down to Jack in the Box, drop down a five dollar bill and get a whole meal. A barbecue sandwich? Or, uh, you know, like a, a bacon sandwich, something, fries and a soda, five, six bucks. You put five bucks in that plate and they give you a two cent wafer. At least Jack in the Box is fair with you. You give them five or six bucks, they give you a good meal. You give the church a bunch of money and they give you a wafer. Now, let's say you go there every Sunday, four times a month. That's $20 if you're dropping five dollars in. You're putting in $20 and you're getting back eight cents worth of wafer. <laughs> yeah, that's worth it. Whoo! I hope you churchies aren't in the banking industry because whatever bank you're in is going to fucking close down. Here, here's a 100% interest rate. So anyway, that's all for now. Click that subscribe button if you want. It's your choice. Now, you can also donate through PayPal if you want because you're getting a better investment here because you're getting me saying stuff that I think is funny. But, you know, I figure if the church is asking for a collection plate, why not me? But mine's a PayPal collection plate. You don't even have to leave your house. In actuality, you're saving money. You give me money through PayPal, less than you will give the church. But you're saving money because you're not spending gas to leave your house. So there you go. Donate to the Church of Centipede Rampage. Just send all donations through PayPal to Olive at AOL.com. I'll put a link down below. Oh, spiritual pursuits. Send me your money. Send it now. Oh, oh, oh.